If someone else manages your Google business profile, you could be losing rankings and you may not even know about it. And for years, business owners have been told they need an agency to run their business for them. They need SEO gurus to help them rank number one in Google. But what if I told you that may be one of the reasons why your business fails? See, Google has changed everything in recent years. Spam filters are brutal. Competitors are more competitive than ever and it's easy to lose the number one spot. And most businesses think they're doing everything okay, and then suddenly they wake up and there, their business is being suspended. Or better, outranked. And I've seen it happen. I've helped hundreds of businesses recover and thrive again. But the good news is you can avoid all those problems. So today I'm gonna to reveal the four pitfalls that could stop you ranking at the top. But before we dive in, I just want to make sure you've also signed up for the email that comes through each week, gives you two minute tips, just make sure you know exactly what the changes are and some little tweaks you can make to get you to the top. So I'll put a link down below if you haven't signed up to that. So at this point, let me explain why I stopped managing Google business profiles. I mean, for years I was asked by owners, can you take control? Can you run it? Can you optimize it for me? And it made sense, they paid me. I could do the work. But then I noticed a pattern. The businesses that stayed at the top, the ones that avoided suspensions, and the ones that kept growing, they all had one thing in common. They managed their own profile. And when I explained to business owners I was no longer managing profiles, I came up with four reasons why, which I'm gonna share with you in this video. And I call them pitfalls, so I'll call it pitfall number one. So to understand this, I'm gonna take you back a few years to a time when I worked with a business and they were a driving instructor business and they hired me for a month to get them ranking. And we got them ranking within a couple of months. They were getting so many inquiries. They were top in their area and it was so successful that they just said, there's no point in hiring you any longer. They'd got what they needed and that was fine. And so they went their separate ways and I went my separate way. But what happened is a few months later, where they hadn't maintained their business, their rank started coming down. And now the new inquiries were drying up. And a few months later, they contacted me again and said, is there any chance you can manage it again for me? And that's when I realized the only person that can consistently keep a Google business profile at the top is the owner. So there's the pitfall number one, is owners do need to manage their business. Now, everything I'm covering today is just a slice of what's possible. If you really want to dominate local rankings without just trial and error, then I've put together a full step-by-step -step masterclass, and I'll show you how you can get hold of that at the end of the video. But first, let's go to pitfall number two. Now, imagine waking up and seeing your business is just invisible. It can't be found. You do searches, it's not on maps. You do another search, it's not being found at all in the search results. You then take your wife's phone, your partner's phone, laptops, wherever you go, you just can't find it. And you know it's really gone because calls dry up, no one inquires, you've just disappeared overnight. Well, I've worked with businesses that have had that too, where literally overnight it disappears because they've been suspended someone's reported them or because something else happened too. And in every case, when I've dug a bit deeper with the owner, I realized there's something they didn't tell me. Google knew something that I didn't. The owner knew something that I didn't. And that's why when I consult now and spend time with business owners, I will do the same check again and again. And it's an audit to find out, do they have a duplicate business? You know, majority of business owners that have been suspended is because they have a duplicate business. Now, whether they've done it deliberately, or whether they've done it by mistake, well, that's quite random because some do know what they're doing and make out they don't. Others just by mistake used a different Gmail at some point in the past. But that's another pitfall is hidden duplicate profiles mm are always around the corner for a business once they start successfully doing well. And of course, what happens is when you start doing well, your competitors take notice. And if they can find one thing on you, they'll report it. Which is why you need to have a profile 
that meets all the guidelines, which is what I always teach in my videos. So let's move on to pitfall number three. As a web designer in the past, I've worked with big companies like the BBC, Rolls-Royce, McLaren, BPP. I've worked with Avis, Budget Cars. And even though they're all very, very different in the sense of their different types of businesses, when it comes to web design, the principles tend to be the same. You need a top menu, you need a site map, you need to have a logo, you need to have a home page. Home pages serve one purpose, like a sign page, and then you've got internal pages need to be deeper. The thing is, I understand those things, and it doesn't matter what business you've got, they all fit in the same type of category, the same principles. But when it comes to marketing, which in effect SEO is, and certainly Google Business Profile is a form of marketing, well, different businesses is a very different situation. The principles are very different. Your audiences are different. Your customers' needs are different. And that's why a business owner is better suited to managing their profile because they know what those differences are. So for example, if you owned a coffee shop and you knew that last week everyone was raving about your choco dooby doo milkshakes, well then you might do a promotion or an offer or you might advertise your choco dooby dooby milkshakes. But would I know that? As a person who's dealing with Rolls Royce one minute and an Avis the next, would I know about a coffee shop chocker dooby doo? The point is, is I don't know all the details of a business if I managed it. Whereas if you manage it, you know those details. So often the problem isn't a case of knowing how to manage it, it's about knowing what your customers are responding to. So no agency, no SEO guru, no SEO expert will know your customers as well as you do. So that's pitfall number three, is you know your customers better than anyone else. So for pitfall number four, it's a bit more about the history of where your business is. So if you've registered your business with a certain address, do you know what businesses were there before it? Now it could be that if you're in a large building, there are several businesses registered to that building and Google might pick up on that. But also you may have moved house and you use this as a service place, an office, and the past owner may have registered that business too. The thing is, is Google doesn't forget past addresses. Old profiles, bad reviews could all be associated with your business without you even knowing. And that's why Google Business Profile Management isn't just about adding information, it's about knowing the past, about understanding what businesses existed beforehand. It may even be about cleaning up the mess that's dragging your business profile down. So pitfall number four is the past could particularly haunt a business if it's got a track record that Google didn't like. And that moves us into the bonus area. You've just seen that managing your own Google business profile is essential. It's the key to ranking top because you know the mistakes, you know what's working and you know what your customers are responding to. But here's the thing is you might not be into SEO. You might not particularly want to be optimizing your Google business profile because you've got so many other things to manage too. But if you had a system to follow, a step-by-step -step guide, well, that would make it a lot easier, wouldn't it? And that's why I put together an hour and a half masterclass of showing you exactly what I do and what works. And I've put it together in a step-by-step -step so you can take control and you can start ranking your business and you can follow the system I use. And I've used this exact system to rank hundreds of businesses. And I want you to have it completely free. And all you've got to do is click the video here and you'll be taken straight to it. So enjoy my free gift. I'll see you on this video next.